Hi folks, this is just a recording of me having just set up Zen Framework 2 with the Zen Skeleton application and I'm literally starting from the beginning as I didn't have any of the prerequisite software such as Apache and PHP so I'm just going to be providing you with a commentary letting you know the steps that I'm going through I think this is it's better doing it this way as opposed to if I'd done it live and once this is set up you can use it as a base to start implementing the other Zen Framework features. So first of all, open up your browser, head on over to wampserver.com slash en, and then click onto the download button, and choose a version that's appropriate for you. I'm going for WAMP Server 64-bit. Make sure you install the Visual C++ redistributable, otherwise this won't work. And it's download, obviously I've already got it installed. Let's download WAMP Server. Once that's finished, run the file. And next, default options, accept the agreement, next, see WAMP's fine, next, don't need any icons, install. Choose your preferred browser, I went with Chrome. Next on that, finish. And then if you look at the bottom right hand corner, you should have the green icon for WAMP server, which means it's running OK. And then check local host in your browser, confirm it's working. In my case, there's a permissions problem, which will be a problem in the httpd conf file. But 127 is clearly OK. So we'll have to open up the httpd conf file and just make an alteration. Yeah, so if we just scroll down, find the appropriate line. Yeah, CWAMP www. And as we can see, it's set to allow to 127, which is why that was working. But what we want, what we want to do really is allow from all. So if we change that, save it, close out, restart Apache, confirm that's now working. Refresh that in the browser on localhost. Wonderful. So next, open up Explorer, go into your C drive. We're going to set up a directory to contain our website. So I'll just create it on the root of the C drive, call it websites. In there, you can choose whatever name you want for this. I've just called it test in there create a public folder which is going to contain the index file for the website and now we're going to edit the host file so into C Windows System32 and into the drivers folder etc and then open up the host file in your text editor and you can see WAMP servers put an extra line in for us there. We don't need two local hosts. So let's change that to the name of your site. I've called it test. Save that. And if you test it in the browser, it should just point to WAMP server. Yes. And obviously, once we get the virtual host configured, we'll be able to tell that to point to our custom directory so in your text editor open up a file into C drive WAMP bin Apache Apache 2.2 conf open up the httpd conf file and then we're looking for mod rewrite first of all so control F and to find on that we just want to 
uncomment that line so that that feature is enabled and the next line that we're looking for is vhosts.conf find on that one make sure you put the S in and just uncomment that as well and save the document next open up and go into the extra folder and this time httpd vhost.conf we're going to enter our settings in here yeah I thought, rather than typing it out I'd saved a copy of that at the ready so obviously directory C websites where all of our websites are going to be, all of the appropriate permissions defined in there. And as you can see, there's some example virtual host setup. We're just going to replace those with as. So we'll set up one so localhost points back into CWAMP www and the other one to point to our custom website I'll just alter these settings depending on what name you've chosen for your website and once all that's done save it and yeah that's good so up a new file um, just to confirm yeah, just an index page so we can get some text appearing in the browser for our test site. Don't forget the semicolon, which I think I'll come back to that. Yeah, but save it into your website folder, test, public, call it index.php. Let's get that semicolon in. And give that a go in the browser. Let's refresh. I hadn't restarted WAMP server low, which I'm going to do now. Restart. Make sure it goes green. now refresh we should get the word test in the body that's what we want to see yep so next we'll download the Zend skeleton application at the ready so yes get to the Zend framework manual site um, there's a link at the top of the getting started article to the github repository Let's click on zip download that from there yeah and you just want to copy the contents of that Zen framework folder into our test folder overwriting what's in public yeah so I just highlighted and dragged and dropped replace that so now we just need to install Zend Framework into our test website and we can run that from the command line but if you go to the properties of computer system settings environment variables and highlight path click on edit and want to type in the path to PHP there so if we navigate to that into C WAMP bin PHP PHP 5.3 and take a copy of that path paste it at the end of the variable value 
okay 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 and you'll need to restart the machine for those changes to take effect so we'll be doing that in a moment so now we've started back up open windows powershell and browse to the test folder for our website and then we can run the PHP commands to get the Zend framework installed there so php composer dot phar space self hyphen update next php space composer dot far space install and that's it we should now in the vendor folder of our skeleton application there should be the Zend framework folder I don't think I actually browse there but, but it will be there yep and we type test into the browser now we've seen what we'd expect to see so it looks like it's all set up okay we can see the HT access file is set up correctly as well that's what we'd expect to see if there's an unrecognized URL so it all seems to be set up and working so now you can start implementing the other Zend framework features and uh, really exploring that, get your web application up and running. Thank you for watching. Um, there's plenty of resources out there to learn more about this. There's a Zend Framework website and you sh should be seeing some more tutorials from me soon. Cheers, bye.